Hi guys, it's Jay with Earthly Kisses. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video of me making soap. Today we are making a lavender soap for some Mother's Day gift boxes. So if you are interested in seeing how this soap turns out, stick around. Alright guys, so today we are making another tiny slab mold soap. <laughs> I'm having fun with this little mold. Um, <laughs> it's just so cute. I didn't think I was going to like it. When I first got it, I totally hated it, but I did like how the, how my soap turned out. It gave me a, some interesting ideas on what to do with these tiny little bars. So they're going to be soaps for some gift boxes because they're smaller than my regular size soap. So, today our scent is going to be lavender. Sorry about the screaming from up above. They're having a gaming tournament in the living room. <laughs> That's my husband and his cousin. <laughs> so, um, we got all our oils going on in here. We got avocado, coconut, olive, palm, shea, castor, and rice bran. <clears throat> because these are going to be for Mother's Day gift boxes. So I want it to be chock full of wonderful skin for those older ladies uh, who have more sensitive skin because of their age. Okay, so we are all set to go. I got my gloves on. Let me get my goggles on. And let's get this soap up mixed up. In the bucket, we got the oils, we got some colloidal oatmeal, and we got some kale and clay. All right, now that that is well mixed up, I know I have some shea butter chunks in there, and I have some clay that was fighting the filling, but they got mixed in. <laughs> so, uh, for the lye water, we have a 50-50 uh, solution of, of water, distilled water, and um, aloe vera juice. Handy dandy little strainer here because I got some bits from my silk. There's silk in the water. Sorry if my arm is in the way. Let's get all of that in there. And these little bits that you see flying out of there, those are just little bits from the silk. Nothing to fuss about. And I had a little bit of lilac. Now that we got all of that in there, let's give this a mix. Just want to make sure all of that is good and incorporated. We still got some mixing to do, so I'm not that worried about it. I'm going to get the fragrance oil in here. This is just straight lavender fragrance oil. in there. Making sure everything is good. Give it one more blast. Yeah. Container. <laughs> this was the largest thing I could find to make this soap in for this size mold. Wipe up my splatters here. Make sure I didn't miss any back there. Oh, there wasn't any. I thought it was flew out of there. Okay, so that is plenty fluid. Alright, and so I don't have to wash dishes. I'm going to reuse this little guy here. I hope you guys can see me pouring here. 
And in here we got two types of green. We got green vibrance and kombu green. These are all of my colors are from Nurture Soaps. So we're gonna work with this little guy back here first. And I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get my stick down in there, so I, I pre-mixed my color. This is the new leaf mica. And we're gonna add into this one. Oh my goodness, it's just so fluid. I love this fragrance oil. And here we go. I don't know if I have enough color. just made it <laughs> all right green but not as popping as I wanted it to be <laughs> but it's okay we will work around it all right so then we got this guy over here this green actually I think I'm going to do my lavender purple first it's a lighter shade so I'm trying my best not to make a lot of dishes. I gotta go to the office for the next couple of days, and that is just not in the timetable uh, to be washing dishes. Nope, yep. not at all. All right. So this is gonna be lavish lavender. trying to gauge do I want to add more or no. Mmm. Mmm. So yummy. Alright. I'm going to call that one good. I'm going to mix up this green. And the last purple. I'm gonna call that good. I got some specks in there, but I don't want this to get too thick, so I'm gonna break, pull out the whisk and get that fully mixed in. I don't have any more specks in there. Now this has never really been an issue for me, but after my last soap, I'm like, uh, yeah, these things on specks and stuff, I can't do it. I had them on my last soap, and... I don't know why I did that. I normally don't have that problem. All right. So we're all set. Let me clean up on L9 and I'll bring the mold and we'll get to pouring. All right. So we got the mold. Now we're ready to pour. Got everything all cleaned up. So I hope everybody's having a great day wherever you are. I certainly am. I had a wonderful day today. Got a lot of things done. Had me a little think tank session on what I'm going to do for Mother's Day. I don't have it all figured out, but I got a starting point, so hey. Okay, so we're going to start with the base color, which is this wonderful lavender. I'm 
else but that there. I guess it would have helped if I had had my spatulas set and ready to go, huh? Yeah, that would have been nice. Okay. So I'm staying with the same way that I poured the last time. And this is warming up on me. I don't know why. But it is definitely trying to do something. some purple down in here that didn't mix in well. I don't want to get down to the last of this and then it's all fugly. Alright. I love this new leaf green mica. Oh my goodness, it's just so adorable and darling. Okay, we're going to the last of that for the top or whatever we can get to make out of that from the top. But that's going to be that. I tell you this fragrance is so funny like it acts like it wants to thicken up and then all of a sudden it is like super loose all over again okay so that's the last of that we'll save the last of that for the top bangy bangy Get some more of this in there. Sorry if I'm in the way. Last of the purple. Now that doesn't want to come out of there. Okay. All right. All right. So then we're going to just take. I contemplated whether I want to do a spoon swirl or a skewer or chopstick. So I think I'm just going to do a chopstick. And we're just going to go down in there like that. And I'll flip her around. Oh, so pretty! I gotta do that again. Flip that back around. It's gonna be so wispy. Oh, I can't wait. I saw that green come up, and it's just like, oh my god, that's just what I was looking for. 
good. Don't tell me. Okay. Now that I'm done spazzing. <laughs> Give that another bangy bangy. All right. More cleanup. All right, and let's get the top on there. I'm just like so excited to get this soap already. Yeah, I definitely got to get another container. It's just so hard to get the last little bits out of there. Okay. Get back in there. Join your friends in wonderful soap happiness. All right, just make sure we get it in all the corners. The rest is going to be a scrape, plop, and swirl. So I'm going to fast forward through this part because it takes quite a while. <laughs> Swirl with a handy dandy chopstick here. Sorry if my hand was in the way. Okay, so that's the initial swirl. And then I'm going to come back with my skewer and put some real definition on them. All right. Sorry if my hand gets in the way here. Oh. All right, another bangy bangy. 
and that's that. Now all she needs is some glitter. Look how pretty she is. Alright. So I'm going to do my regular standard combo. This purple shimmer stuff. Whatever it is, I like it. <laughs> Give her some of that. And then some iridescence. Can't go wrong with iridescence glitter. It is so pretty. It just like picks up the color from the light and just it just put this extra special oomph on your creations. Uh-oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> that actually turned out lovely. Alright. So here's your close-up, guys. There's the soap. Stick around. The cutting is coming after this. Okay, guys. So we're back to cut the lavender silk. And, uh, I need a long split of y'all. <laughs> I apparently cannot cut a straight line to save me. <laughs> I, instead of using, the last time I used this mold, I, um, I took a double-ended knife to cut my soap, and that did not go so well. Because apparently I can't cut a straight line. Then I tried to cut this one, and it was okay, and then it went wonky. And what I did is I took the arm off of my cutter to cut this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, that didn't go so well. That so moves a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and get into this, ba this bad bugger. Um, I'm going to start with the middle piece, actually. Um... Yeah, it's funky, it's wonky, but we'll make it do something, I guess. Maybe possibly, or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, I'm pleased with the colors, how it turned out. It's soaked like a dream. And um, I'm going to try cutting it into bigger slices than I did the last time. Tighten up my string here. So I hope you guys are having a good day wherever you are. I'm having a great day now that I'm not on the road driving. People were trying to run me over all over the place. Somebody almost caused an accident in front of me. I almost hit a state trooper. I'm like, oh my gosh. Get off the road. Okay, so let's see what we got in the middle of these. Oh, it's so pretty. a little bit so you guys can see all of that wonderfulness going on. But it is really, really pretty. Uh, turned out much better than I anticipated, really. Yeah, once I get my measurements and stuff and my log splitter together with this mold, I think I'm going to like this. I like the size of these bars, they're perfect for little gift sets that turned out super cute. I am so glad that I stuck with my guns and used the two shades of green because, oh my goodness, that lighter green is just helping that to really give it some pop and some interest. But it turned out beautiful. Couldn't have asked for more. And the soap. Oh, look at that one. Oh, leave that one out in front. That one is so captivating. It's so pretty. Oh, look at this one. Oh, my word. Beautiful. And that's an end piece or something. Alright, so let's see what this one beholds. Paper towel stuck to the back end of this one, so we're going to slice that end off.
nothing going on there, but when you turn it over, oh yeah, that's that buttery hotness right there, y'all. That is the lovely buttery hotness. Oh my. So pretty. So pretty. I don't know what took me so long to try a slab mold. I, well, actually, I've been wanting to try a slab mold for such a long, long, long time. And I almost bought one from Brambleberry. And then I started hearing not so many good things about Brambleberry. So I gave up on that hunt. So cute. Super cute. Oh, this one looks like a flower or something coming up out of there. I wish there was more of that lighter green and you could really see those swirls and everything. So I think the next time I do this soap, hmm, see, Will's already trying. I'm change design already. <laughs> next time I do this, I think I may do it in a pot swirl and drop that in there. Oh, yeah. But I definitely like this lighter green opposed to this darker green. Now, when I originally made this soap, it was the two shades of purple and a green like this. And it turned out really lovely. It was super fantastic. But this new leaf mica from Nurture Soaps, oh, my goodness, I love it. I try my best <laughs> not to even pick that stuff up because if I had it my way, that color would go in all of the soaps. That's a pretty one, too. That is a really pretty one. All right. And here goes the last one. Um, not too concerned about that end, so I'm going to put it all the way to the end. Boom. So pretty. Yeah, so I am definitely trying to step my game up, you guys. I got to step my game up. I've been soaping for quite some time, and it just seems like I'm always making the same old stuff, and it's like I want to do something different, have more fun. This one turned out really pretty, too, and it smells. Every time I cut a piece off, the scent just wakes up into my face, and I'm just like, in heaven. Yeah. So, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to go about cutting my soaps out of this mold, but I like it because... It's versatile. You can do all kind of things with a slab mold. It's really giving me a lot of ideas. And that'll be some sample bars for this chunk and for that chunk and that chunk. So, and a nice amount of sample bars out of that. Yeah, so I'm really digging this. And once I get this thing on log splitter, I'll be jamming. And then I'll probably upgrade to an even bigger slab mold. Um... Because I want to start giving myself a longer cure time. And I just can't do that if I can't keep them in stock. So. <laughs> that is that. So that is our lavender soap, guys. If you are new to the channel and you've watched all this time and you haven't hit the subscribe button, what in the world are you waiting for? Get over there and hit that red button and hit the bell so you can get notified of all our wonderful new creations. <laughs> if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for thinking in there and hanging in there with me and supporting me again and again and again. And until the next video, bye.